Hey, this is Pastor Keith here with a quick Conversations with the Calvinist side note. Today, it uh, hit the air that Chris Pratt had come out and said that he's really not a religious person, which comes to a surprise to some people who were really looking to him as an example of Christianity in Hollywood. And this got me to thinking about something that I've been wanting to say for a while. And I think that this is important. It doesn't take up a whole show, but it can maybe take just these few minutes that we have here today. And that is that oftentimes, I think we get really excited when a celebrity proclaims Jesus because we think somehow, some way, this celebrity is going to make a difference for the kingdom of God, that this person, by being a Christian in an unchristian place like Hollywood or maybe Washington or somewhere like that or New York, uh, a place that is, is, is known for sort of being opposed to the cause of Christ, people get excited and they start thinking, well, maybe this is the this is the person that's going to that's going to really make a difference. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, they're often more often than not, we're finding these people who claim Christ or claim to be Christians aren't actually Christians. They're 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 using the the verbiage of Christianity, the words of Christianity to m- somehow um, either placate their own conscience or to deal with uh, the fact that they have had a su- sudden rise in, in popularity and they want to say, well, I thank God for this, and therefore people hear them thank God, and they think, oh, that person's automatically a Christian or something, and then they get labeled Christian. I think that's what happened with Chris Pratt. I don't think he ever intended for people to think that he was a a, a strong Christian. I think what happened was he is. Uh, he made a few words about Christ, and people just jumped onto it and said, "Well, there's there's our there's our new guy." In fact, I heard several years ago a person told me, "Oh yeah, Chris Pratt's going to take back Hollywood for Christ." And I and I said, eh, I, "I really don't think so." I, 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 first of all, what does that even mean? What does that even look like? And second of all, um, is this really the guy? Is 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 Chris Pratt going to be the one? And Obviously not. He came out today and said, well, I'm not really a religious person because, and quite honestly, he's probably tired of being hitched with a lot of the baggage that comes with being a religious celebrity. Um, I remember hearing the same thing back when Jim Gaffigan was talking about being a, um, a Roman Catholic, and a lot of people made a big deal about that. In fact, he did an episode of his show where it came out that he was a religious comedian and he was a Christian comedian and uh, because, of course, he's... Roman Catholic, and so they were saying he he he's on the side of the angels, and and the problem was he wasn't, and his whole episode of his show was about that, about how he had to distance himself from that, and that's what Chris Pratt's doing. He's distancing himself from it, and the reality is, is because these the, the, they're not Christians, and um, I don't think we should be afraid to say that. I don't think we should be afraid to say this person's not a believer. Um, their lifestyle doesn't doesn't indicate that they're a believer. Their confession doesn't indicate that they're a believer. Their choice of church does not indicate that they're a believer. Why are we surprised? They're not believers. Um, that's that that the, the thing is, we need to understand that true Christianity is counterculture, and to be a celebrity in the culture that is antichrist is really a very difficult thing to do. I'm not saying there's no celebrities that are Christians, but I'm saying that they're very rare. And when someone is in a position of celebrity and they do claim to be a follower of Christ, I think we need to look at that with some, with some, uh, at least a little bit of discernment and say, is this person truly a follower of Christ? And um, I think Chris Pratt has basically said he's not. Oh, well, those are my thoughts today. Hope that was helpful. May God bless you.